Hey everyone, this is Bremster, and this is number 106 in the Sudoku problem series. This is a non-consecutive killer problem um, sent in by Pineapple. Um, there's a link below to where you can get a copy of this to try yourself, and the goal on this one is to place the digits in all of the cells marked with X's. It's important to note that you do not need to place any other digits. None of the, or none of the other cells exist in this one, so just focus on those. So, um, yeah, the way the rules work is killer cages. Um, digits in cages must sum to the number in the top left corner of the cage. And for digits you're placing, they cannot be um, orthogonally adjacent to a digit that is consecutive with it. So I'm going to wait for a few seconds so you can pause the video and um, give this a try. And then when you come back and unpause the video, I will explain how this works. Okay, so. The way you want to look at this one is, I mean, a seven cage, um, there's only one way to fill out a seven cage in killer. So you have the digits one, two, and four are the only way to fill it out. One, two, three being the minimum six, you can only, you have to increase one of those digits. You cannot increase the one, two without jumping too high. One, two, four is the only way to make it out. Now you cannot have consecutive digits. So if I put a one here, there would be a two consecutive with it. So that wouldn't work. If I put a two here, there'd be a one consecutive with it. So this has to be the four and these become the one, two. Now in the 14 cage that's left, I can't use a one, two, or four. So the minimum digits I have available, left available now that I can use are three, five, and six. And th those three, five, and six sum to the 14. So this becomes three, five, six. But if I put five in the middle, there'll be a six ad adjacent to it. And if I put a six in the middle, there'll be a five adjacent to it. So this becomes a three. Now this being a three means this can't be a two. So this can't is becomes the one, this becomes the two. Um, there's no three in these and four can't be next to five. So this becomes the six and this becomes the five. And that's the solution to the problem. Now, there are gonna be some people who comment on this one basically saying, but this is broken because there is no way to fill those cells because however I put those in seven, eight, nine, eight is going to be consecutive to seven, eight or nine. But remember the fundamental rules of the Sudoku problem. The goal is to fill the cells marked with an X. The rest of the grid doesn't matter. So the fact that you cannot fill these cells is irrelevant. This was how you place those six digits. So if you're gonna comment and say, but you cannot possibly place those six digits, remember the rules of the problem is just to understand the logic to place the cells with an X. You do not need to worry about any of the cells in the grid. This is to demonstrate logic techniques, not to build the foundation of an entire Sudoku grid. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that one. It was an easy way to demonstrate how the, the non-consecutive rule can push off each other. Um, hope you're enjoying the series. The series will return. I don't know how regular it will be, whether I'm going to alternate puzzle and problem videos. We'll see how it all goes. Thanks everyone for watching. And as always, good luck with your solving.